Okay, so we have we have a couple. So which uh, we have mirror in here, uh, very interesting symbolism on the mirror. So uh, we have that. We have lost. Uh, let's just go with lost. Um, I God, I got pulled away with some other thoughts. Let's listen Fairy to this again. Tales. Fairy tales. Now stories about lost princesses. Lost princesses, evil, evil witches. witches. So princesses. Lost children. That's just creepy though, <laughs> for real. Um, uh, princess. Let's see if she says princess anywhere. Uh, let's see magic, um, and we have fairy tale. But well, that's not what I searched. So let's go fairy tale, like that. At the session, I think I got a, enough from that one. Let's go for this one. Same day. No, they might be to thematic the too. There it is. What I say. <laughs> I thought that if I touched her, something would happen. We would become one. Ooh. One girl. Mm hmm An idea of herself that maybe she over, Yeah. The witch was dead. Oh my gosh. And I'd be restored to my rightful place. That sounds weird. That came out really strange. You're crazy. For real. No, this is like I'm fairly on board I I I I'm in sync here. Unless you're throwing me off with your stories, you're trying to deflect, but we have reflection. We have, uh, Jesus, I'm disoriented all over again. We have mirror, right? Did I type in mirror? No, I didn't. Let's watch it again and see if mirror comes up. We have witch again. Well, witch is the key where that got us here. Oh, man, let's go to this again. I wanted to see my reflection. Mm -hmm. I thought that if I touched her... <sighs> oh, is it maybe something to do with twins? No. We would become one. One girl. Let's try a become one. Um, and one girl. And to be honest, I'll go with one here. Uh, there might be an identity. There's definitely an identity situation happening here now. The fairy tale was over. The fairy tale. The witch was dead. Which was dead. And I'd be restored to my rightful place. Crazy talk. Um, she's done something. She's done something. Do I even have? I don't have fairy tale in here, but it's, okay. Well, let's add it because I don't know how that didn't. Did I search for fairy tale already? Maybe I didn't. Here, let's search for fairy tale next. Fairy tale. She's living in la la land here. Holy smokes! Here we go. Let's give her. And the glaciers. What's that on I her arm? <gasps> is that a part-time job there too? That was Eric's generosity. He was always good at helping out other people's children. Simon was quiet, more thoughtful than the other boys. The hell? Even then, he had a sense of craftsmanship. He wasn't always rushing stuff. Boys that age are just running around like. Heavy so it, I thought it was a partner, but no. Yeah. Plus he had that look. He looked like a fairy tale prince. What the? Uh, <laughs> what are we? Where are we going with this? What are you talking about? We have Simon, Eric. These were boys. I want to type in boy. What the hell? Okay, fairy tale came up. Oh, what's this again? That was creepy. Something's not right here. I July. Someone had a part time job there too. That was Eric's generosity. He was always good at helping out other people's children. Oh. Simon was quiet, more thoughtful than the other boys. Okay, so Eric was the man. He had a sense of craftsmanship. He wasn't always rushing stuff. Boys that age are just running around like headless chickens most of the time. Yeah. Plus he had that look. That's creepy as hell. From one of my books. I don't like it. I hope I don't I hope you're talking about Eric. Oh god, turn that. And her arm, is that like maybe the the art that she was looking at? Like a Rorschach? Is that what they're called? I mean, that's the character in Watchmen. So I'm just making an assumption that his name is that because of the thing on his face. Being Rorschach test? Isn't that what they're called? Let's see this. Simon never cheated on me. Okay. 
And I was devoted to him. So it was a partner. Nothing in Maybe when they were children. Him. We were good to each other. Life isn't a fairy tale. Maybe. So we have another Simon. Oh, there's got to be more keywords in here, though. Simon never cheated on me. Never cheated. He was devoted to me. Devoted. Let's go for cheated and devoted. Let's see what comes up with that. Let's give this Simon, another go. We were good to each other. Life isn't a fairy tale. Do what you can. Let's go with that for now. See what you got. Well, she wasn't my real mother, but she raised me. Stepmother, fairy tales. Do you want to take a story? Story again. Fairy tale. Oh, there it is. She's a whack job. <laughs> She's mer. Let's go. Let's look for stepmother. Let's see if step. How would they have done that with a hyphen or? I don't know. Let's do it a couple ways. Sure that. She's Louise. Well, she wasn't my real mother. But well, let's just go with mother. Me. Let's just go with mother. Do you want to take a story? All right. Uh, and now I'm just going to go straight to, I think, mother. Let's go with that. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. There's a girl and she's staring out the window. So the did the tattoo come after she looked at this? What did she that window? She's Another symbol. Okay. Because it could be a reflection, There's but it also you look through it, so you see a world beyond uh, the reflection. It's kind of the symbolism of a window. She's trapped. She's here. Yeah, it's like she's looking out the window because her mother won't let her out. Yeah. So the thing with like a uh, window is that you, if the window is closed in symbolism, it's that you can see what you could achieve. But, um, and, and so freedom, the sense of freedom is there, but you have, you feel trapped because the window is closed and it's still a barrier, even though you can see through it. Um, so your mind can be free, but you physically can't be. So holy smokes. Uh, we have window symbolism. Okay. And then we have uh, trapped. Good word. Okay. And now let's go with the next one. This is new. Is this new? I don't think I've seen this. I would have been a good mother. Yes, I have. June I was 30th. Young, but I would have been a good mother. She was a girl, by the way, the baby. Oh. We were going to call her Sarah. Oh. Simon wanted to call her Ava after his nana. Oh. But I didn't want her to have a symmetrical name. Oh. Did you see that? A symmetrical name, a pan that's like hers, you know, well, <laughs> whoa, uh, Jesus, I've disoriented myself again, what did I get out of that, oh my god, hold on, let's go back, I would have been a good mother, so good mother, I was young, but I would have, okay, that's some repetition there, good mother, because then there's the, you know, wicked mother, or the evil stepmother, or, you know, and then we have, um, I've got some names in here. I've got oh, Eric, right? Would have been a good mother. She was a girl, by the way, the baby. So she had a miscarriage or something? We were going to call her Sarah. Simon wanted to call her Ava after his nana, but I didn't want her to have a symmetrical name. Not be like her. You see what I mean? So she, she has, she's probably feeling guilty about something. She didn't want the daughter to be like her, a reflection of her sort of thing. Jeez Louise. Okay, well let's add this to the session. Let's move on. Because I feel like things are starting to... My mother called me Eve. Okay. Look at that symmetrical. Jeez, <laughs> nice. Also Adam and Eve, so the first. Um, we can go into the whole like there's a whole sin angle to it. <laughs> oh my god, my brain is so it's getting overwhelmed to be honest. This one was short, but it was so important. 
because this symmetrical thing remember the beginning remember the beginning of this lp god am i recording that would be the worst feeling ever because i could not do this again okay so it's the idea of the beginning is the end i forget how she said it right the end is the beginning it's like the idea of like that's the whole thing with the name so you get to the end and you find out what the beginning is all about but the whole thing this is all decentralized this is all um non-sequential right so this entire experience is almost you have to get to the end to then piece the story together from the beginning um, very very interesting now um i only got eve out of that because it was so short and i'm okay with that <laughs> i'm okay with that uh we're gonna see if i can find it oh that's right there is let's go <laughs> what he got here yeah. my friend eve. my friend when she was a friend from when i was a kid and she was always more popular with the boys and i used to hate her for it i mean really hate her sometimes oh my gosh what the hell <laughs> uh i don't know i'll just put hate in there just because we're gonna close that off 42 seconds that my brain yes. is gonna break here we'd fight we i'm not i'm not gonna retain this held Eve's head underwater. oh my goodness there was no one else around it was at the far end of the beach and i held her head under and i kept it I'm going to stop right there. Water's important symbolism. It's got tons of different interpretations, so it yes. depends on the story. Symbolism for birth, it can be symbolism for chaos, it can be symbol of, symbol of motherhood. And I held Eve's head underwater. Because it, it, you know, it nurtures life, but it also, you know, it's very violent. It erodes the shoreline, breaks things apart, you know. And for a moment, I just wanted to kill her and watch her drown. Uh... But that was it. It was just a moment. We made up afterwards. Whoa, what the... A love-hate relationship. Uh... Buh. Buh. Okay. All right, well, let's write down here. Love-hate. Uh, let's try that one. crazy thing with her is like it, it's it's all stories and patterns so, i mean this that's the whole point of this game <laughs> this is like the perfect game for Police me <laughs> station. yeah when i was young june 30th we ran away on my birthday it's about eve Ian was playing in london and we thought we could break into his tour bus and have him take us with him wow the taxi driver we paid to drop us off i mean we'd saved money pinched a bit here and there to pay for the fare he was suspicious because we were so young, so he told the police. So they came and picked us up and took me back to Portsmouth. My mum picked me up in the station. But I blamed everything on my friend Eve. So my parents let me off. Oh my god. Manipulative as hell. We have police in here. Um, we have Eve again. Well, we searched for Eve, so that makes sense. Um, we have parents. I never heard about the father yet. So we can try to dig into that, maybe. Almost four. Someone in the room right now. What's going on? What are you doing talking about Eve? Oh. Is that Morse code? What is this crap? That's Morse code. That's going to be Morse code. Fuck that. No, 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 no. Shenanigans. I don't know any of that. I don't know how to figure that one out. What? Oh, maybe it was. Hold on, let's go back. Maybe it was like a letter count. Well, I mean, that would be weird. I mean, because, you, you know, you can't have like... 
Well, we'll find out. She even real though? Or maybe she's not. Oof. No, that's not what it is. This is this is this is that this is Morse code or something. I can't. This is not going to happen. That's not going to happen. But there, there's some shenanigans afoot there for sure. I mean, that's just obvious. But like, is it um, is it Morse code or is it a puzzle? Like those beat those taps represent a letter. I tried to follow it along. It wasn't spelling a word. Um, hmm. What are you talking about, Eve? That's all I got out of that, but that's already a tag of this video, so I don't even know how to mark this thing. Outside of the taps, I, I mean, if I have to search up taps again in case there's more of them, I guess I'll do that. Holy smokes, where am I? Here, let's just do it now. What, that's, what? When we weren't together, we'd send secret messages by <gasps> code. Oh, yes. <laughs> Something prisoners of war would use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We tap them out on radiator pipes or the attic floor. Oh my gosh, yes. Attic again. I mean, how is someone supposed to just know what that means? Dad thought we had knives. But I couldn't find any. Bought a cat anyway. Oh my gosh, my brain. That's awesome. Mouse, cat, uh, dad. Let's see if we can find out more about her dad. Uh, geez, what else did she just say there? What? Oh man, I really want to know what that is. That's like a, hi that's that's a hidden message for sure, man. Secret message. Uh, not code. Secret and not code. Let's try that. Secret uh, message. Uh, not code. Jesus, how many? Like, imagine how many clips are gonna be on this thing. It's crazy. Attic. So there's a narrative tied to the attic here as well. So that's gonna be interesting to look into. Um, let's uh, type in attic. Let's see if we can find out. I, hell, I'm, I'm curious to see um, if I can find more about the attic right now, to be fair. Because I feel like there's, you know, because there's the tower, right? There's the, um, the window idea. So, like, you know, if you think about Rapunzel again, Rapunzel in the tower looking out a window. Uh, you know, freedom be out there and, um, you know, feeling, feeling trapped. So, maybe the attic is important. <laughs> Let's go. Yes. I inherited the equivalent of the tower. So it made sense to move back, me and Simon. Felt like going back to old ways. No. Oh, before the pregnancy. Before the pregnancy. Reminded me of being a girl, a dollhouse in the attic, mm. old things. We didn't sleep in my parents' bedroom for a long time. We decorated it as soon as we moved in, but. No, no, I'm going to. The year before we oh, I'm sorry. Sleeping there. Okay, so attic is a thing. We have dollhouse, which is also, uh, again, symbolically, uh, it's not a real house. It's a dollhouse. So it's it's uh, it's it's a reflection of the idea of a perfect house ho household. You know, it's so the fact that she called her her living place a dollhouse is already kind of um, she's imparting that idea that her her impression of the world around her. I think is just she's crazy. I mean, that's that's clear to me. Clear. As, there's day. Uh, what else do we have? Shoot, let's go back. Yes. I inherited it from my parents, so it made sense to move back. Me and Simon. Felt like going back to old ways. 
before the pregnancy. Here we go. So let's, uh, I'm, I'm curious now about the pregnancy. Pregnancy, we got Simon in here. That's probably ton, tons of stuff in Simon, but that's going to overload me, and I want to try to narrow things down so I can organize my thoughts here. Um, let's see what else we have. Yes. I inherited it from my parents, so it made sense to me. Felt like going back to old ways before the pregnancy. Felt like going back to old ways. It reminded me of being a girl, a dollhouse in the attic, old things. Dollhouse in the attic, but the okay, okay. For a long time. We decorated it as soon as we moved in, but it was another year before we started sleeping there. Time is a huge thing. Time is a huge thing. Not only is it down here, um, because I, I opened it up, but it's that there's there's a se sequential there's a sequentialness <laughs> that's not a word of when these are interviews happen. There's uh, in her interviews she talks about time a lot. She's flipping between time. We got uh, reflections of uh, potentially moments of her childhood. We have moments of her teenage years. We have pre-pregnancy uh, with Simon. Uh, inheriting the dollhouse, uh, the the house, um, and then we have post pregnancy. So she maybe got a miscarriage, um, and then I still, I'm still not clear if yes. it's, I I am, but I'm, I'm I don't know what to believe. So then it's like, is her and her partner's dead? So Simon is the dead one, uh, I think, or something. Uh, we'll see how that plays out. But and then there's Eric. Eric was a friend uh boy was a boy so who eric is in this i still not clear on um and then there's eve yeah that's childhood and then we have this these recordings go up till july i think which is where she's wondering like that was months ago was the comment there so i feel like maybe she's getting tired of being part like asking asking questions or something i don't know let's leave it at that for now let's keep going there's more here Mm. Here's a she July one. Me from the window. There's the window again. She told me to come inside and she hid me. What? They had made the attic into a place where Hannah could play. There was a dollhouse. She hid me up there. So. No one else ever went into the attic. It was her place. What? What? Oh, I like the her place. Oh, her story. Okay, well, I was like, that looks like awesome. Okay, let's do this again because mm. I got distracted. She recognized me from the window. She recognized me from the window she too. She wanted to come inside and she hit me. Oh, not the attic window. They had oh. made the attic into a place where Hannah could play. It was a dollhouse. She's talking she to herself. Ah, she talked about herself in the third person. No, it hit me. They had made the attic into a place where Hannah could play. Mm -hmm. It was a dollhouse. Crazy. Multiple personalities. Come inside and she hit me. They had made the attic into a place where Hannah could play. <gasps> what? It was a dollhouse. Disassociative? Like she's disconnected from her herself. She recognized me from the window. Oh, wait, as a reflection, mm -hmm. maybe? She recognized me from the window. Hold on. I think she told me to come inside. <laughs> I could be completely she, she told me to come inside. They had made the attic into a place where Hannah could play. It was a dollhouse. Oh my gosh. She hid me up there. No one else ever went into the attic. That's it. It was her place. See, and yeah, and, uh, that's it. As soon as I uh, attic came up, <laughs> I was like, that's an important, that's an important piece because uh, there's a lot of connotations there and. Um, so hiding place maybe uh it was a place for her to escape now i mean why she was escaping we don't know there might have been there might be a story there uh she's obviously disconnecting from something um or she's just got she's got multiple personalities like straight straight away um but if she's talking using words like hiding hmm And this might be one of the most important of the videos. I gotta, I gotta listen to it again, man. She recognized me from the window. She 
told me to come inside, and she hid me. So they had made the attic to a place where Hannah could inside, like inside herself, maybe house. not in her, not her house. You know, that maybe I don't know. She hid me up there. No, and so, if she went to the attic, attic, she would be a different person. It was her place. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm I don't even know where to go with this, but okay, let's let's go with um oh man. I wanna start oh shit, there's one over here. Hold on, let's go back here. The July interviews are where she's she sounds like I'm she's a little sure bit more where unhinged. Came from. Huh. I don't know if it was given to them or they inherited it and they wouldn't have had the money to buy it. It was so huge. <laughs> It must have been taken up to the attic in parts and then reassembled up there. That is a beautiful thing. Wallpaper to scale. Wallpaper. That's important. Lights work. Mirrors, beds, duvets and pillows. We spent hours and hours playing in it. We invented all these characters and families who lived there. We? But is it a we? Passports, diaries, and get them all really elaborate stories. Escapism. Once. Travel, etc. Right. Trapped in there, we'd left a light on. It was making the most horrendous noise. We tried to kill it, but it was tough. We ended up crushing it under a copy of the Arabian Nights. A thousand what stories? A thousand one stories. Oh boy. This is crazy. And the we, that's crazy. Okay, well, uh, again, I was pulled in. <laughs> I have to I have to get at it. I gotta snap out. Okay, here we go, dollhouses. Okay, what did I type in? I didn't type in dollhouse. So there's stuff with a dollhouse that is definitely a keyword we gotta look out for. And what else do we have? Keep going. Come on, Anna. I'm not sure where the dollhouse came from. I don't know if it was given to them or they inherited it. I mean, they wouldn't have had the money to buy it. It was so Was it real? Huge. She made up it the dollhouse, maybe. The attic in parts and then reassembled up there. That is a beautiful thing. That makes me feel like uh, that the, the dollhouse itself was maybe her putting a personality together. Maybe I could be going again way off. And it's like perfect. You know what I mean? Pillows. I was playing it. Invented all these characters and families who lived there. Better lives. Passports, diaries, gave them all really elaborate stories. Of course, she did. Once. The What's the moth all that? about? What's the moth all about? The moth. I mean, there's metamorphosis that happens with the moth, so it could be symbolic too. It could have been a butterfly, but it's a moth, right? So why? It's not because the moth isn't the beautiful. It's not be as beautiful as a butterfly. It's just an ugly thing that metamorphosis. Hmm. Maybe she consider herself. I don't know. Moth has to be important. There's going to be, you'll, you'll see. <laughs> you'll see. There'll be more. Moth will come I'm up. not sure where we'd left a light on. It was making the most horrendous. Oh, wait, wait, wait. A moth got trapped in there. Oh, we left we'd the left lights. a light on. Right. It was making the most horrendous noise. We tried to kill it, but it was tough. We ended up crushing it under a copy of the Arabian Nights. <laughs> It's the smirk and we should talk about death stuff, man. Oh, good time for that train. Let's take a break here. Oh my gosh, my laptop has 12 minutes left on it. Oh my gosh. What is wrong with me? Hold on. Oh, that would have infuriated me. Could you imagine? I'm going to save off part of this right now.